guys, so today in as an alternative to the live stream that I was going to do, uh, unfortunately, there's something up with YouTube, uh, but I decided I would just do a review of the new Super Goop Glow Screen, which is a nice sunscreen alternative. Uh, it kind of works well as a primer almost. So and it's got a nice SPF of 40 and is rather affordable. The full size is $36. And uh, it's got a really nice texture to it. So let me just show you. Let's see. So it's got a little bit of a tinted color. So if you uh, are fair, it has a nice uh, tint to it, which kind of blends into skin pretty nicely. So I could say even those with very, very fair skin will probably have good luck wearing it. I'm wearing it under my foundation today. And if you even have darker skin, it kind of blends in pretty nicely. So that shouldn't be a big issue. I know a lot of things with uh, tinted tinted sunscreen have a tendency to uh, kind of not match the color shade. There's Lincoln in the background. Hi, Lincoln. Anyway, so the one thing I do want to talk about with this, though, is that they mention protection from blue light which I guess isn't a bad thing, but don't make it something that you look for in your sunscreen products because there's been a lot of research done on blue light, especially recently. And it really goes to show that you could sit in front of like your iPhone. I guess that's, I, I don't have an iPhone, but uh, you'd have to sit in front of your iPhone for like 1,300 hours to equal 10 minutes of being outside. So... Uh, really, overall, it's not something you should really focus too much on. Hang on one second. Lincoln needs water. Anyway, so it's not something you should totally focus on. There's absolutely nothing more wrong with wanting to protect yourself from blue light. But just don't overlook the big deals, which is UVA and UVB rays, instead of thinking about blue light. So really focusing on UVA even is becoming a huge thing. So let me let me see if Lincoln's almost done. There. He loves to drink out of the bathtub. That's like his deal. Sorry. He's kind of loud. He's slurping. And uh, anyway, so this does provide adequate coverage. It's got an SPF of 40. I recommend 30 or above every day, even if you're just at home, uh, anything above that. And this does have titanium dioxide as well as some chemical filters, avobenzone, octoprylene. Sorry about that. First the live stream screwed up and then Lincoln comes in and slurps. Sorry. Um, but it does have a really nice tint. The only thing I dislike about this one is it has that chemical sunscreen scent, which is just irritating to me. I think it's avobenzone when those are in sunscreens. I just noticed that chemical scent, and it just reminds me of being at the pool when I was little and just how strong that chemical scent is. And I can, even though I'm wearing it on my face now, it's dissipated, but it takes about a good hour to fully have that scent dissipate. So now that's on my hand, I can smell. But it does give off a nice glow. Works great uh, directly under foundation. Kind of works well as a primer as well. So those are all great things. And the fact that $36 is kind of pricey. Let me double check the size. 1.7 ounces. So I said 1 ounce. So don't don't quote me. It's 1.7 ounces. So other than that, it does contain some good beneficial ingredients. We've got niacinamide in there. Uh, we've got sunflower seed oil, cocoa seed extract, uh, vitamin E, ferulic acid toward the very end. So works very well under my Dr. Brenner vitamin C serum. I just apply this as my last layer instead of a moisturizer because it's pretty hydrating in and of itself. And I don't really need a moisturizer because this one does the moisturizing and the sun protection. So anyway, I thought I'd share my kind of thoughts with you on this one and hopefully I'll get the live stream to work uh, tonight or tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Hopefully YouTube will be back up and running. I don't know if they're all working from home or hardly working from home or I don't know, but hopefully it gets fixed. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the Super Goop glow screen. And uh, I'm interested if you guys have tried this or not. 
I'm going to be doing sunscreen week soon, so definitely check out that as well. And I'll keep you posted on that, and thank you guys so much.